and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Winter Draven. So we're calling this deck. This is going to be a Freljord Noxus mid-range deck that has some beef to it. This is going to be kind of similar to the Yeti Overwhelm deck that we played yesterday. We're getting another deck with Ancient Yetis, but this deck's going to be able to play a longer game because of Trifarian Assessor. So we're going to have, <clears throat> you know, Trifarian Assessor, of course, cares about each uh, ally with five plus power that you have in play to draw cards with that and so we have different ways to be able to give some of our allies five plus power if they're not you know like we have Avros and hearth guard in here granting the allies in our deck plus one plus one we also have legion veteran which starts as a four or five which of course legion veteran and, and assessor if they start at four power hearth guard can turn them into five power but then veteran can also um, grant our allies plus one plus zero if they survive damage uh, Kindly Tavern Keeper good against um, good against the burn decks, and also another way to heal our allies if we need it. Of course, we have Avaros and Trapper, Draven in here just being really good three drops. Draven's just pretty awesome. Um, another thing that we can do with Draven is, of course, have these Spinning Axes. We can, like if we have a Legion Veteran in play, we could Spinning Axe our own Legion Veteran, turn it into five power, and then play Assessor and draw an extra card. So that's something we can do also. We could turn the Spinning Axes into cards that way um but yeah we'll just be kind of aggressive in here um and uh try to try to overwhelm our opponent all right so let's go play our uh five games in ranked and let's see how we do with winter draven all right so for spells we have we do have three calling strike which is great both of those cards are ones that we want to culling strike. So we'll curve like Draven into Legion Veteran with this hand. Maybe I don't need the Legion Veteran here because Ancient Yeti would cost four also. Let's let's look for, because I want to look for culling strike. Okay, cool. Yeah, I wanted to play, I wanted cards that cost less than three to play before Draven and also culling strike. This was <clears throat> two very good cards to hit. All right, we got double Omen Hawk. Cool little start. We're gonna buff up some some things that we're gonna draw. All right, so it looks like we're buffing up. They're both they're both buffing up the same units. So we're gonna have two plus two plus two units. Man, it's hard not to play three mana five five. But obviously, like getting Draven in play and getting Spinning Axes is also a really good way to go. Welcome to the Tipsy. I'm just gonna play three mana five five. We shall weave our own destiny. So Soraka is big enough to stop three mana five five, which is a card I didn't want them to play. But considering they didn't play anything on turn one or turn two, it's pretty hard to imagine they had nothing on one, nothing on two, and then they just didn't even have Soraka on three. That would've been hard to imagine. Only provides temporary sustenance, child. So Soraka heals four damage, which obviously we can block Soraka. Cool. No pill cascade. Worried about that. I wanted to give them a chance. You know, I wanted to play my Avaros and Sentry first, give them a chance to play a pill cascade, which I guess I could have. I could have gone over and hit. On Soraka, if I really cared that much about Pill Cascade. Alright, let's send our attackers in there. I understand. Alright, Sejuani's already at three out of five. The Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Finn. Time for the main event. <clears throat> yes, love Avros and Hearthguard. Great draw. So now our best draw is Trifarian Assessor. If I kill you, I don't fortune. Stupid. The 
war mother will unite us all. All right, Trifarian Assessor. Be at peace. Live with purpose. This is our homeland. This as is would put the Broadback Protector back to being a 2-3 so that it will die at the round start with that ability. But of course they're going to have like different protection stuff so they're just trying to figure out exactly what they want to play. Pale Cascade. Now we're cooking. I really don't need that Flash Freeze. Let's make them waste another card. So they waste another card saving Soraka. Sure. That means that they're not going to be able to save the Broadback Protector, probably. Now, that one only costs two mana. Ugh. So they were still able to. Wow. We really did it. For life. Take heart. Live with purpose. Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. Mm, no calling strike. We do have a whirling death though. Whirling Death could be pretty good. The Star Child. I'll clear a path. Good to see you too, Vin. This is outrage! So they're out of cards. They can't protect anything. <laughs> Another obstacle. Another path. Another problem. Go no further. So they would block the overwhelm thing and we'd be able to Whirling Death and get more damage crossed. <laughs> Another obstacle. Alright, so we gotta kill Soraka. Um, all of these things kill Soraka. We might as well use the Draven and get another Spinning Axe. And so now, their Broadback Protectors will both be alive, but they should both die at round start. There we have 16 out of 22 Star Spring. Should both die. They'll go back to eleven. Table for one, if you oblige. Have eight mana. I guess I'm opening attack. Open attacking. So Sejuani on my turn isn't going to be, you know, very valuable. So what's in store for me? I don't like that. Is it better to have 4-2 Ruthless Raider in play instead of 3-3 three, three Draven? Like, do I just cover up Draven? I guess, right? That's weird, but I kind of need to kill them this turn. Yeah, because this is probably our last attack. So we want to draw a spell that helps us kill him. That's not a spell that helps us kill him. <clears throat> so we drew the Assessor, but unfortunately we didn't find... I guess we found a Draven's Whirling Death. Now I'm overwhelmed. Stand and fight. Mm, I guess I should have Overwhelm first. Okay, five mana left. So none of that saves them, and they only have one mana left. So there we go, GG's. One and oh. Okay, this is a good deck with Shen Fiora. So this is going to be a very good test for our deck. Um, Tavern Keeper is definitely gone. I guess we just keep these again. I think I think you just keep Ancient Yeti, right? But this isn't necessarily the best Ancient Yeti matchup. I again want spells. I just want Cooling Strike. 
Oh, Culling Strike, Hearth Guard, plus Assessor. You know, draw lots of cards with Hearth Guard plus Assessor and have Culling Strikes. <laughs> flash Freeze, yeah, like basically all of our spells, Culling Strike, Flash Freeze, Troll Chant, those are all pretty good. They have three mana barrier. I'm not necessarily expecting it. Okay, we're just gonna block single combat. I mean, I'm trading. I'm trading my one three mana card for two of their two mana cards. So we'll take that. Got a two for one. The balance requires a watchful eye. And now we have the cooling strike for the Shen. Escapes my watch. Unclear if Avaros and Sentry is even worth playing. TBH. The young fight for glory. I fought for legacy. I do have the spinning axes, which makes it a little better against Fiora. Pretty soon we're going to be able to just throw down a bunch of ancient yetis. Ooh, I love the assessor draw. Love that one. Alright, how do I want to do this? Maybe another Legion veteran. I'll just pass on the Ruthless Raider and keep that mana for spell mana because we're going to draw a good spell here. Or not, but Assessor is, or sorry, Hearthguard is nice. Hearthguard is nice. Let's see what they do. They're going to be keeping Repost mana available. I, okay, yeah, they're just passing. I think I need to Sejuani. I think that's the best play. You know, I obviously love getting Hearthguard in play as early as possible. If their plan's Judgment, they don't have anything else to go along with Judgment. That was a great play for them. Great turn. And a good draw. The eye of twilight sees all. Our strength is yours. It must be done. War teaches us all. River shape the land. So only drawing life. two cards with this Triparian Assessor. I oh, know that thing that thing survived damage, so it's five two. Okay. So we draw three cards. Yeah, I I could like attack with Legion Veteran first and you know get an additional card, but probably worth doing that first. See if we find something else to play here. These old eyes still see far and clear. Safeguard our arms. Currents pull them down. I guess I should have the Legion Veterans last. Yep, we're overwhelming them with sheer force, which is what our deck's going to be doing most of the time.
I want to minus two this river shaper so they don't draw a spell. I don't know if I really want to save it. Hmm. We have to draw two spells with this. Oh, yeah, I guess they just draw the two spells. Fight the signal fires. Light misjudged. What form will the waters take? Yes, if I would have had the, the two Legion veterans last, then this would have been a 7-3 hearth guard. Waters are still. Now, that's that's like Justice the only difference that it would have made. This would have had 7-3 there. The winter's claw strikes. Alright, so they have they have two spells we know about. Looks like single combat's one of them. Um kills them three. Obviously, I could save it with Troll Champ, but that's just like a 4-2. I'm not, I'm not that worried about that 4-2. I'd much rather, I, you know, I care more about the things with 5 plus power when we are talking... The trap is set. Um, Trafarian Assessor being the card that I want to draw. Which is a little bit of a problem here with the Trapper. It's a better use of that card. It's a little bit of a problem with the Trapper is that I am... Um, you know, we could draw one mana 5-5, five, five, which I really don't want to draw one mana 5-5. Five, five. So maybe I just shouldn't even be playing the Trapper. Because I want to draw Trifarian Assessor. Or like a good spell or something. like One mana 5-5, five, five, don't, don't really need it. Okay. Back to 15, but we're looking pretty decent. Gotcha. We're gonna have a bunch of one mana five fives coming up. Carved from the savage cold. All right, GG's. Good job, Triparian Assessor, getting us those four extra cards. And that's why we won. Yeah, they were dead. So yeah, good good quality win against a good deck. This will be a tough test with them being so fast. Can we stabilize and win quickly? I love this hand. Very good hand. Love having Omen Hawk on turn one. Ruthless Raiders are great. Two and three, we got the Legion Veteran. Very good hand. My books. Hope that's all right. <laughs> no. Omenhog doesn't trade with that. Fight or die. Let's test my theorem. A fight. I don't think I get too fancy. I know I could have Ruthless Raider block the 1-1 one, one, and then Ruthless Raider survives. I don't think this is a matchup where we get too fancy. I think we just uh, trade. Don't take much damage. Yep, I think we want to trade everything and keep our life total as high as possible. If I would have gone Draven, I could have had Troll Chant as well. Wow. I've embarrassed fools twice your size. I guess I should have gone Draven with Troll Chant. I just didn't think they would attack. I thought I could just play the 5-6, they wouldn't attack. Wow, yeah, I guess I guess I need to go Draven Troll Chant. So this is it. Oh. Now it's a party. Many tribes under one banner. The yeah, I'll be very surprised if, if we win this game Today we fight after one. that play. I was just a 5-6, they just ate. A 
foray into the field? How exciting! Smile! It's called gunplay! I guess it... I mean, I, I couldn't just not block. Yeah, I'm just... Like, now we're cooking. I just needed to play Draven and, and Troll Chain. I just I didn't think that they would be attacking. I didn't think that they would have a plus two plus zero with only one mana, but they did. Rummage into Vision, and not only gave them that, but obviously pumped up these things too. This is our homeland. One one could be attacking. Yeah, they, this game's it's not really a game anymore. Well, After the, that, the turn four won in that game for sure. What's the worst that could happen? Hmm, I wonder. Yeah. We don't. We don't have anything to stop those elusives. Kill them fast enough. Just move on. Whatever, man. Not my fault. Alright, same matchup, same test. I loved our hand last time. I'll take that same hand. Um, and I like this one too. Yeah, I like this too. I really like having Culling Strike. We saw that game. The Troll Chant is very important. And I, I didn't... Didn't keep my troll chant up when I needed to. I can see the Nebastian border from here. It's Draven time. Draven makes life tough because I can't calling strike the Draven because of Spinning Axe. Troll Chant doesn't really kill anything. I think I have to go Kindly Tavern Keeper. But I don't get full value out of the Kindly Tavern Keeper. I'm not blocking Draven. He's not planning to. Watch and learn. Okay, never mind. So Sentry, you save three life right here. We can probably throw away a Sentry and have it save more than three life. Later. I helped build this empire. <laughs> yeah, attacking with the leveled up Jinx on turn four that also has a plus one plus zero. That was rough. I don't I don't need to attack and let them block and then play new new threats. Let them just have these. Their their board's already full. Let's talk about your dad. Look out for reavers. So I take five. I imagine they're gonna do stuff with these first, so I'm gonna see what they do first and then you know, have calling strike troll chance. Maybe possible we can kill Draven with this combination of both of these. Time for the money makers. I'm really glad not vision. I'm really glad not vision. They're trying to level up. Draven. I'm going to try to keep them from leveling up Draven. You suck. War teaches us all. Every scar a lesson. All right, that kind of works. And so they discarded Daring Poro and Poro Cannon to make more Daring Poros. And I want to just play Hearthguard. Maybe it's better to play Draven Yeti. Time for 
It's probably better to play Draven Yeti. That's one draw step that doesn't get the plus one plus one. Let's get this over with. All right, our first damage. I can block all five. Besides the daring Poro. Hey, buddy, what you doing? Not much. I've got meat bigger than you. I've embarrassed fools twice your size. Trapper could have been a 4-4 four, four, if I would have played Hearth Guard last turn. We fight for one I think we got this one, though. Yes, we do. Opponent agrees. They didn't have Jinx. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Okay, it's <laughs> this matchup again. So, unfortunately, we... With our three matchups, we only play or our five matches, we are only playing three different decks. That's a little unfortunate. Um Culling Strike, Key, Sentry. It's kinda meh. I don't know. Sentry does its sentry things. Um I could see keeping transfusion as a way to buff up one of our things to get over their stuff, because they're gonna be, you know, it's good. This kind of matchup has a lot of combat tricks. Like, I I kind of like the transfusion, but we'll just send it back for now. I don't really like the troll chant, because it's not it's not like that kind of it's a big responsibility to um, trick is necessary. This is a, a poor troll chant matchup. We want other stuff. If I kill you, I don't fortune, stupid. They're up there. Just would have stayed in 03, would have played on Ruthless Raider. The party has arrived. Pablo's been down, but his knee out! Ah, I told your ancestors to protect! Alright, so that box of is gonna kill my Draven. That's too bad, but that's just the way it is. I can't afford to use Culling Strike on Boxtopus. Never mind. Now, obviously, I can with them spending four mana, four extra mana on it. Your win streak is over. Can see the Nebastian border from here. The War Mother will unite us all. I could be letting them off the hook by not playing another thing to attack with. Right, that's my job. Shepherding, I mean. Go no further. Hmm. Alright. Close your eyes, and the stars will fill you with their light. But if my eyes this is gonna get rough. Can I miss it? By starlight. This is gonna get rough. Take heart. Good combo there. Ready the torches. Okay, let's hopefully kill both of these Star Shepherds. 
Uh, I wouldn't mind discarding, yeah, like, if we have to discard the 2 mana 3-1 Ruthless Raider for this other Spinning Axe, it's not that big a deal. Alright, we're gonna try to challenge the Soraka. I like seeing this kind of stuff. You know, like we're we're gonna be able to beat three twos and three ones. Our deck will be able to do that just fine. Pain is nothing. Table for one. Alright. Yep. I thought it agreed. The Witcher's Claw triumphs! Okay, nice. Four one. Um, we only played the three matches, three different decks, so we didn't get to see, you know, like a wide variety of uh, decks here, but um, I liked what we had going on. Trifarian Assessor was just awesome, and so like Assessor with this stuff, really good. Um, I'm not sure if I really liked, I don't know, like, I guess the Kindly Tower and Keeper kind of, I guess they kind of did their job. I'm not sure if I really love that card um, when we already have six other good threes. Uh, with Draven, Trapper. And it did feel like, you know, like we only have 10 spells, and I kind of wish that that, I kind of feel like I wish that was like 12 spells, right? Like there's a lot of times that like all I wanted to do was draw a spell for combat. Um, I like Transfusion a lot, and I think that the Flash Freeze makes a lot of sense these days. And like Flash, and Culling Strike is just an all-star, which we could play more of those. It's not like Kindly Tavern Keeper was bad. I'm just saying that I'm not I'm not sold on it, if that makes sense. I'm not sold that it's the best thing that we can be doing. Um, Sejuani was was amazing, because Sejuani is amazing. I wouldn't mind just playing a third Sejuani. Like, I wouldn't mind taking out a Tavern Keeper and playing a third Sejuani. Yeah, I mean, basically, yeah, I think Sejuani is just super good, so I wouldn't mind a third one. I understand that, like, Midrange Frostbite also only plays two Sejuani, because it is a six-mana card, but it's, it's a six-mana card that frequently wins you games as we saw there um you know you know it's a just another really good removal spell and everything too and it, and it just works out perfectly with the calling strikes and stuff too um yeah the ancient yeti is the ancient yeti is just fine you know like the the ancient yeti and your enraged yeti that gives you some some really good bodies for later on the game you know turn five turn six turn seven you just get to go ancient yeti plus something else um, yeah, it's a, it's a good card. Um, been, been happy with them for sure. Uh, allows you to, to put a whole lot of power in play super fast on one turn. You know, cause like on turn seven, you could have like Averroes and Hearthguard or Assessor. I guess turn seven, you could play Ancient Yeti for one mana. Um, you know, either, you know, one or two Ancient Yetis or like Ancient plus Enraged and then also Assessor. Like you could do all of that in one turn on like turn seven. And you know that like, that's that's pretty strong. Okay, uh, but yeah, there we go. Winter Draven, pretty awesome. Um, yeah, that's kind of about it. I don't know. I, I like these are all just pretty good cards. You know, you can tell that they're just all basically three ofs because they're all they're all pretty good. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think there's really anything else to to change too much about it. Uh, so there we go. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.